So once we do that, these eight objectives are met, the two principles will be met and the, the healing should go on uneventfully. So how we do it is in stage one, we fix the articular fragments. So the, all the articular fragments are reduced and fixed provisionally with K wires. And these wires are placed very near to the subchondral bone so that when the plate is put with the screws, the screws can go as long as possible and the K wires will not interfere uh, in the trajectory of the screw. Once you do that, move on to step number two, in which the plate is applied and provisionally fixed with K wires, just to see the plate is well contoured and held in its proper location. Then a supracondylar screw could be put at this time to achieve the required compressions and put it in the oblique hole so that the plate can be moved proximally or distally as need be. Articular fixation is done with long interdigitating screws from both the plates going into the opposite columns as long as possible. Then the supracondylar compression is achieved once the interdigitation occurs, the supracondylar compression is achieved using the cortical screw in the proximal part, supracondylar part. And then on the medial column, there is similar compression uh, which is done like the lateral plate. And then finally the K wires are removed and whatever other screws that might not have been possible to put due to the position of the K wires are inserted at this point when the K wires are out.